So coach, I'm having problems with my relationship. What do these men want? Well, they want many things. But fortunate for you, I took the liberty to put it in a new video series. You can catch it on my YouTube channel every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget to comment, like, or subscribe. All right, coach, let me do that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love, you move the fast for me. Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Karan Pierre, and if you don't know me, I'm a life coach and your relationship guy. Hopefully, we can work together in the future. So, on today's episode, episode 20 of the 100 Things a Man Wants video series, today's topic is Men Want Women That Have Good Taste in Men. And we also will discuss why do men lose interest if they discover certain things about a woman's previous lover. So let's talk about this. Things have changed. Oh, no. <laughs> have you ever had great chemistry with a guy and he either discovered who your ex was or you told him about a previous guy and he ghosted you or began to act differently around you? Hmm. Sounds familiar. That's because men, especially men of quality, may judge you based on the type of men that you have entertained in the past. Now, when we talk about women and their previous lovers and men's perspective, I'm gonna I'm tell you the truth. Like, this one is a secret thing that I would like to touch on because you don't really hear men talking about this too much. And I'm just gonna say this, me personally, I would be turned off really quick or made to feel foremost, depending on the information received by a woman's experience. Let me let me tell you more about what I mean in the next couple of slides. Let's, let's give us some good detail breakdowns. Now, the question remains, why who you slept with may come back to haunt you? Men want to assess a woman's value based on the men they have dealt with in the past. Yes, so the men who you dealt with in the past, it matters a lot to men. And a good example of this would be, if you dated a former NFL player, right? Your man may feel like he can't compete with that player, right? On, on any level, he may view you as a woman that is out of his league. And that is never good, right? Now, this circumstance is similar to uh, what we talked about in the previous episode in the series of uh, men wanting a woman with uh, ambition, but just not as much as ambition that he has. And if a woman were too ambitious, he wouldn't be interested in her. However, if a woman's ambition was less than his, he may be more attracted to her. Right? So, based on the fact that this guy is a NFL player, he feels like he's less than. So any secure man or alpha man possibly doesn't really care about uh, a woman's history if she had a high value man in her past, right? Especially if she proclaims that she doesn't want that man anymore. So that might be some value there. However, when a woman deals with a man that he feels is a loser, uh-oh, all right, um, a guy who doesn't really, you know, fit the bill, he may see you as being less than, right? And that's whether or not he expresses or not. Like I told you, this is something that men sort of keep secret. Like a man will either just look at you differently, ghost you if you're dating. He might not even just like give you the heads up. If you're dating a man who a, a man feels like He's just less than, that will make you look like less than, right? Now, a great example of this would be a woman dating a guy who has a reputation for poor hygiene and is known for burning ladies. Uh-oh. You're dealing with the man on fire. <laughs> and uh, the three letters, when you put them together, STD, uh-oh. That's scary. So now your man finds out that you had a romantic relationship or an encounter with this dude. That is grounds to be dumped or ghosted. I'm sorry, ladies. <laughs> I, I, if it was me, 
I don't think I would do the ghost thing anymore because I'm a mature man, but I probably would look to like end the relationship or uh, just stop courting um, once that news is disclosed. And this detail is something that I know as a man that men want, but they may not be open to sharing it. So you know what? We're not gonna just harp on these things. We're actually gonna provide some suggestions for clarity. So let's talk about it. Now, the first thing is to avoid keeping secrets and sharing all specific details. But wait, what do you mean by that? Isn't that contradictory? Well, listen, here's a good example of what I'm talking about now. According to Psychology Today, right, in the article titled, Should Couples Really Share Their Sexual Histories, right? It says, open and sincere discussions are significant, though the question of timing is crucial. Sharing details of your exes on the first date through tiring stories is unadvisable. A better way to get to know each other is through ongoing interactions that reveal your authentic nature. So listen, if you're committed with a man and keep specific details for him that you know might have prevented him from entertaining you or ghosting you, if you guys were further along in the dating process, I suggest you share it. However, you don't have to give insignificant details. Men only want to know the basics. We don't want to know if he bent you over, if your legs was in the air, how loud do you moan? Like certain things you don't have to share, but avoid keeping those crazy earth shattering secrets, okay? Um, confirm that you no longer want your ex-man regardless of who he is. So you have to get that confirmation. Now, you can stroke a man's ego by reaffirming that you only want him, right? You are his exclusive woman. Now, we talked about these two things in the previous episode. A stroke a man's ego was episode one. Now, you need to go back and check out some of the prior episodes to really get up to date and understand what we mean. So you are his exclusive woman and... This can silence much of the noise revolving around your past lovers. I'm telling you, that right there will just give it up. He will give it up. Date men of quality. Always date men of quality, right? This is how you avoid being in this situation. Please don't settle for less. Don't deal with a guy that isn't worth it. Now, I'm not saying uh, to not compromise. I am saying to qualify the right guy for you. And of course, if you've been following me, you know that we have a complimentary checklist on the QuranPA.com website. Definitely check it out. It'll help you identify traits that the right guy and the wrong guy possesses. And you can see if the man you're dealing with fits the bill. So go definitely go check it out. And you know what? That's all for this video. Uh, in closing, don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon if you hadn't already and like the video so more cool people can check out the video. Uh, See you Thursday uh, for the overview. Uh, We will be reviewing episodes 15 or rather 16 through 20. And until next time, stay blessed.